As journalists, you know, we cover all kinds of stories, sometimes in situations most would try to avoid. It hit very close to home when two journalists obviously were killed on live television last month. And while there's no way to predict or sometimes even be prepared for that type of tragedy, it made us here at ABC6 question how we and our viewers can protect ourselves. ABC6 News reporter Megan Rysett explains how self-defense goes far beyond physical protection. Prior to this class, most of us had never learned self-defense. And personally, I usually spend more time thinking about my scripts and stories than my safety while working. But that's now changed, thanks to Officer Carrie Kaler. Being a cop for 20 years. From the Rochester Police Department. We want to make sure that you're, you're equipped with everything that I can teach you. One crucial key to remember. Be aware of your surroundings. To make eye contact with people, I see you, I know that you're there, I'm taking a mental picture. Display confidence and trust your instincts. We're always taught to be Minnesota nice around here, but if your gut's telling you otherwise, there's no need to be nice and be that victim. Also, be aware of what's going on around you. We're in an age where everybody is texting or looking at their phones and they're so preoccupied with other things. Another important aspect, no. create distance. No. Back! Down! No! You want no. to create distance from them and no. get away. That's no. your main goal. So we gave it a try. No! Ah. Get out of here! No matter the occupation. Statistically, one officer dies at the hand of an assailant every three days. I'm on high alert all the time. I'm making sure that I position my squad car uh, appropriately so that I can see. These skills are important in and out of the job. And that's again why I'm here today, just to help people become survivors and not victims and hopefully never have anything like that happen. But like I said, forewarned is forearmed. In Rochester, Megan Reisted, ABC 6 News. Well, Carrie also tells us that your body can fight back at full strength for about 45 seconds. So if you need to use force, go all out and don't hold back. Also remember to make noise to alert others that you need help.